Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. Uh, I'm gonna pick a lock today. Just got one from the shop. What are we gonna pick today? What do I got over here? Well, let's do this one. This is uh, Lock Lover Leftovers. I've never picked a Lock Lover uh, challenge lock, guys. Let's see if we can get in this case in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> uh, rock. A lot of flopping that core and that face is loose. I think it should be pretty much squared up there, guys. Go from the front. One. Two. Three gave me a little click. It felt like he overset. Actually, that might have been four. Start that over. I gotta lock this vice down, guys. This is bouncing like crazy here. Yeah, I had something set because I just heard it fall when I did that. One. Two, three, that might have been four there. Yeah, see, it, hmm, it's a funny lock. One, two, I think I overset two every time I touch it is what I'm doing there. I get a pick that's a little bit deeper here. I think I overset two every time I touch. Okay, just went into a little bit of a false set, guys. A little deeper. And nothing is talking to me now. I got some clicks on three or four that was. I'm going to let a little tension off. See if I can't push that because five doesn't want to move at all. He's solid. Oh, it's open there. It was number five holding me. Yep. Beautiful. Ah, cool little lock, lock lover. I do have a key. I'm going to unmummy that too. Let's not go out of frame here, guys. Uh, how deep are we into this? Oh, two minutes. Okay, we're going to do it on this little Bobby Keys pin tray here. I got stuff all over mine, <laughs> as always. And there's order I do because I can do it this way. Off. Let's get a shim in here. Ah, pretty cool little lock. Yeah, I got the shakes again, guys. Oof. That shim's not wanting to go. There's definitely a teepin or something in there. Okay. Bug follower. Pins are toward me. Oh, skeleton cores. I hate those cores. Okay, so five is definitely enlarged. Okay, let's get him dumped and then I'll bring us down and show you what's, what he's put in here. Oh, that's a long pin. That's the one I kept oversetting. Let's get him to come out here. Two long spools there. Okay, so we've got a couple serrateds, a couple spools in there. Uh, he's definitely enlarged the last hole in that one, guys. Let's see how hard it is to get this off here. Ah. I'll mummy this back up before it leaves, guys. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that's a nice bidding. <laughs> Put this right here. There's a bidding on the key, guys. Let's see what he's got up top for us. Oh, I just seen how he was in there. It was this way. Copper spring. Oh, I just almost lost it. Number two pin. Jeez, that could have been ugly. Okay. Hope I didn't just go out of frame. I don't think I did. Number two just barely poked his head up over the shear line. And they're commercial serrateds. A little steel spring in that one. 
I'm glad that opened pretty fast because my gutting is pretty slow here tonight, guys. <laughs> Standard pin in number three. Another little steel spring. I'll take the rest out of the back of this, guys. It's really, really loose, so there's no spring tension at all in here. Yeah, that one just barely poked his head up, too. Nice spool, and it was the the thinner side was down, I think. Pretty sure. It's hard to keep in, I mean. Uh, he was the same way I seen when he came out of there. Oh. Let's see if he's done anything upstairs, guys. Yeah, there's threading. Looks like threading in four and five. Uh, I didn't check the core for threading, though. No. Yeah, there's threading in one, four, and it's really, really enlarged, like I said, on number five, guys. Okay. Let me bring this down to the pink tray here, guys, and I'll show you what he's put in here for us. across it and stand just back up okay and one we had this serrated i believe that's a uh commercial serrated with a commercial serrated above it then this homemade serrated in two first one had a copper spring in it then two had the rest of the springs are all steel the same i had this serrated in two with this pretty nice bomb spool in three another bomb spool in four and it was a standard in three and a driver and then in four, we had this spool with this commercial spool up above it. Then another one of those serrateds with a commercial spool up above him. All the same springs, guys. Pretty cool little lock. Lock lever. Uh, like I said, I've never picked one of his locks. That was pretty awesome, though. <clears throat> and uh, I also want to say, guys, I'm still not getting any notifications. So if you've left any comments and... I haven't gotten back to you yet. I promise you I will. I, I have to manually go into the video and see who's commenting and who didn't. Um, what else did I want to talk about, which is... Uh, that's it. Everybody have a great evening. Oh, I was playing with this. You know, Frosty sent me this so I could try it out. And I mean, it, it's really, really nicely constructed, this Kronos, for multi-pick. What, what I don't like about it you know, I have arthritis in my hands pretty bad, guys. And it's kind of hard for me to pull the trigger from underneath it like this. It, it kind of cramps my finger up here. If they would have did it this way where it pushed up, it, I would have liked this much better. So I, I'm kind of on the fence with it. Because uh, I do have the HPC. It's almost the same pick on the HPC. And I have the cheapy uh, clam that's in the shop that we use. And, and the thing works great. So... I don't know if it's worth the money or not. I'm, I'm debating it, but maybe I'm not sure if I'm going to order one or not yet, but it is a nice, nice tool. A little expensive, but it's a very nice tool. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. See you soon and good night.